We are all guilty of trying a new skill prematurely out of excitement. We attempt that muscle up, start flailing on the bar trying to get that butterfly pull up, or load the bar, grip and rip that weight that deep inside we know we have no business attempting. Yeah, nice. Oh CrossFit, some people just can't stop talking about you, they follow you like a cult. Others think you're dangerous and ineffective. What's the truth? Why are you so misunderstood? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the actual goal behind the CrossFit methodology, the dangers, the misconceptions. Chances are you found CrossFit through videos of amazing athletes at the CrossFit Games, or perhaps of CrossFit fail videos on YouTube of the average Joes trying to be like CrossFit Games athletes at their local gyms. The reality is that CrossFit the sport and CrossFit the fitness methodology is and should be two completely different things. One of the beautiful things about CrossFit and something that CrossFit takes pride in is that it is infinitely scalable. What this means is whatever movement you pick in the gym, there should be a scale for it that will allow your grandma to do it as well as an elite athlete. This means they can have this shared experience. They can both share in the benefits and the pain. Um, and I guess this is a unique thing with CrossFit. Those who watch the sport also do the thing. Unlike a sport like rugby or cricket where the spectators uh, don't often actually do the sport on a daily basis. But this unfortunately has also become one of the problems with CrossFit, I believe. You now have the average Joe that goes to a CrossFit box trying to mimic the programming demands of the elite athletes they follow. Too often I see members of gyms stay after class to do additional programming, additional core work and strength work and accessories. I remember as a gym owner seeing this way too often, members getting caught up in their celebrity coaches programming or their favorite athletes programming. And often not only do they do it on top of class, even worse, they'll stop coming to class altogether, just come to open gym and do their own programming. And this way they miss out on the two most important things that a CrossFit gym gives you, coaching and community. One of the biggest misconceptions or concerns with CrossFit is that it's dangerous and it causes injuries. And I think the best place to go to see what the programming originally was meant to look like is CrossFit.com. And if you jump on CrossFit.com and you look at the programming, you'll soon realize how conservative the volume is from day to day. It literally has one component per day. So you might be doing just a five by five back squat or you might be doing a 15 minute workout and that is it for the day. It very much takes a long term, a lifelong approach to fitness. And if you imagine walking to the gym and all you had to do that day was a 15 minute workout with say two or three movements, you can imagine just how much attention and detail you can put into that session when it comes to the warm up, drilling the skills and the movements before going into the workout. And I think that was the original intention for the average human being going to a CrossFit gym to take it slow, to have a long-term approach, to be conservative with the volume and the amount of weight you put on, how fast you move. It really did start off as a very reasonable and conservative fitness program. And that brings me to my next point. Not all CrossFit gyms and not all coaches are created equal. Nice, Tommy. That's it, mate. Drive those knees out. <clears throat> Elbows up. Looking good, Tommy, looking good. <clears throat> Unfortunately, some CrossFit gyms program way too much volume for their members and they employ coaches that act like babysitters rather than actual passionate coaches. And as much as I'd like to say that every CrossFit gym is amazing and that they're all the same, I've been to enough gyms around the world to know this is not the truth. You have to shop around and find a gym where the coaches really care and they actually coach. Next, you have to swallow your pride and commit for the long term. Don't add more weight, don't move faster, don't move on to the next progression until you have proven that you can move the current weight or the current progression with good technique consistently. And hopefully the great coach that you found will encourage you to do the same. CrossFit is not this crazy fitness program only reserved for the already fit. CrossFit takes fitness modalities that have been around for decades and make them available to the general population under one roof. Bodyweight movements, or gymnastics as we call it, cardio movements, powerlifting movements, Olympic weightlifting, strongman movements, you name it and CrossFit will incorporate it. This is such a great approach for the majority of people. The constant variety will mean that you will develop a well-rounded fitness. Yes, you can get strong and build muscle doing CrossFit. 
Yes, you can lose weight and lean up. You can get more flexible. You can develop an incredible cardiovascular capacity. And really, that is what CrossFit's all about. It's about creating human beings that are ready for whatever life will throw them. So if you do this thing right, you can stay safe, you can stay injury free, you can have a lot of fun and learn some great new skills. You can become part of a great community, not only locally, but a global community of fire breathers that just want to be the best versions of themselves. Look, I know the CrossFit gym is a scary looking place. It is not polished and commercial. You might see some pretty crazy bodies in there that are just covered in sweat and chalk, but I promise you they are normal people just like you and me. So take the leap. Go and try out a few CrossFit gyms in your local area. Don't settle for the first one. Shop around. You won't regret it. And who knows? I might just be watching you on TV at the CrossFit Games real soon.